So a lot of people have asked me about my car. And so I came down here to San Mateo Beach to show you my car. This is a 2023 Southeast DX3. And as you can see, it's a four door and it's dirty. I washed it day before yesterday and then it rained. So now I know why they call it the rainy season because it rains here almost every day. You can see the clouds all around us here, back over that way, you know, that's back toward Monta. And, but anyway, <clears throat> back on the car, this is a, uh, so far the jury is out still on whether I really like this car or not. It's a Chinese car. A lot of people, well, no, not, not a lot of people, but a few people say, oh, don't buy Chinese cars. You'd be making a big mistake. And, you know, you just can't believe everything that you hear from these, uh, these people that get all their training, their official training from the Internet. My friend says the Internet certified professionals, you know. As you can see, it has a steering wheel. It came with it. And if you look down here, down there it has internal brake control so I have a pedal where I can actually stop the car you can see it's, this is leather like upholstery I don't know if it's really leather but it's leather like it has a sunroof and it's the sunroof is electric so I can open and close it with a button up there and uh, I want to want to go around to the other side I'll actually show you the motor and let's see here but it, the one thing I like about this car is it reminds me a lot of my uh, Nissan that I had Nissan Rogue but here it is it's southeast like excuse me like southeast and here is the result of my first accident where some little kid bumped into me coming out of the mall he scratched my bumper right there scared to death he thought he was going to go to prison but see i got all this room back here i can put all my stuff in here i've got this thing that comes down and hides it all there's my, all my gear and it just you know i did learn that sometimes if i don't shut that just right the latch doesn't latch there it is dx3 they make a dx2 dx3 and I think they make a DX4, and don't ask me what the differences are. I don't really know. Don't really care, to tell you the truth. And let's see here. I'm going to pop the hood and see if I can do this without, with one hand. It's kind of hard. It's a heavy hood. I couldn't believe how heavy this thing is. Uh, there is the engine. So it's completely covered. Right over here is where you check the washer fluid and you can put the oil in here, check the oil, I guess. And the, the lady at the dealership said they put this cover in here to protect that. <laughs> I said, okay, whatever. It's a heavy hood. Yeah, I'm showing my license plate, but who cares? I don't care. You know, I don't have anything to hide. I'm in Ecuador. So, and it's got plenty of room, front and back seat, you know. There's the back seat. And those, these seats do lay down. The center armrest right there, kind of nice. Got a cup holder in it. And I got a couple of latches here where I can release it and let the seat fold down. And let's see, has USB ports back here. Doesn't have rear air conditioner control, which I can live with, with just fine. We don't really need it that much here. So, and it has a gas tank cover. How about that? So that's it. That's a Southeast. It's 2023 Southeast DX3. The only issue that I've had with it. And I don't know if this is an actual problem with it or what, but the uh, yesterday when I filled it up with gas, I uh, 
got when I started the car back up to, to leave, I went up to Monte Cristo yesterday. When I started back up, the air conditioner wouldn't come on. And so I couldn't get it to come on and save my life. So I just pulled over the side of the road, turned the motor off, turned it back on, and it started up. The air conditioner came back on. I don't know if it's got a bad switch in it or what, but it's definitely going to bring it to their attention when I take it in for its uh, first service. The car wash that I'd used did a horrible job on wiping this car down. They did a bad job. Don't trust the car washes here, I guess. Because I've heard more than one story. But anyway, that's it. That's my car, folks. You asked to see it. There it is. It's got a 1.5 liter turbocharged Mitsubishi motor in it. Five speed transmission. It's the fifth speed is like a horrendous overdrive. And it rides really good. It, it drives nice. It drives, rides good. It's very comfortable. It's, it's solid. It, you know, I got in another car. Uh, when I went shopping for this, I looked at a Cherry, and the Cherry, uh, I just wasn't impressed by it. I thought it was too small for me, and it was it was a little bit less money, but I went ahead and paid the money and got this, and for those of you that want to know, I think I already mentioned this in another video, I paid 19100 for this car, just like you see it sitting. 19100 my matricula, which is the registration, was $267. And then my insurance, the insurance without my discount was like $617. I got a fairly substantial discount because uh, the insurance company gave me a discount because I give them so many referrals from my channel, thanks to you guys. So I got, I got my insurance for like $498. That's full coverage insurance for the whole year. So that's it, 2023 Southeast. DX3. It's not a fast car. It's not very sporty, but it's fun to drive. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me about, you know, aren't you afraid to drive in Ecuador? Well, yeah, I am. Every time I get in this thing, my stomach turns. But, you know, what am I going to do? Let's see the view I have here. This is San Mateo. I came down here to the San Mateo Beach. And, uh, not nobody here this is the famous bar that a lot of people like to go to called silver island it's owned by a canadian woman i believe and it's pretty popular for expats that come down here but anyway back on the car you know if i had to rate driving a car here on a scale of one to ten with ten being don't even get in the car i would say the experience is about a six or a seven. The people here just drive like they just they just they just don't use any common sense at all and no courtesy whatsoever. Rude drivers everywhere. But you know, that's the way it is. So that's the way it is in Ecuador. It's that way in a lot of parts of the United States. I can't say much about it. So that's it. There you go. I am working on a couple more videos. That will be coming soon. I finished up all the coverage for the Monte Cristi golf course, and that video will be coming next. So, from San Mateo in Ecuador, have a great day, folks. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.